Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room this morning. Today I'm, we're going to go over making this absolutely adorable card with some new things from the holiday catalog. I um I absolutely love the holiday catalog and with this today I've got a lot of my pieces cut out and we're going to put it together but I want to concentrate on making this snow right here. That's what we're going to concentrate on that effect right there because I love this the sleigh on top of the snow. So um I let's see this is the Santa sleigh bundle that we're going to be using today. Let me bring that in and show it to you. And um, later this afternoon after this video I'm going to make a card with this tree and make another another video like that. So this co um, coordinates with the framelits, the Santa sleigh framelits right here that we're going to be using. And these are so adorable. These, um, these framelits here is the, the one that goes on top of the sleigh. And we did that in red. Wait till you see us put this card together. You're going to love it. But let me just open this up and show you in here <coughs> what all you get. There's the tree, and I love the reindeer. And right here is the little, um, the little bear. There's a wreath, the stocking, bows, two sets of bows, a little one and a big one. I love that. Just all kinds of stars, embellishments, everything. I love, absolutely love this set. This is one of those sets that I'm going to keep forever. It's nothing that um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, when it retires uh, through here, I, I kind of hope they carry it over because I love the reindeer. So, needless to say, um, we're going to, today we're going to work on how to do this part of the snow. So, I, and remember, I also, uh, decorate my envelope. This is a Whisper White envelope you'll need. And I've just put the little bow here uh, on the front and the back. And um, so we're going to start with our card base. And here's what I've been doing with my card base, guys. I like it to be the thick Whisper White cardstock. And this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I've already put my sentiment inside from the Santa sleigh. Um, stamp set right here okay I put that nice little saying in there hope your season brings one good thing on top of another I guess that's because we layered all the presents on top of each other right so um, I go ahead and I fold this in half and it's scored right there and then I'm gonna bring in um, let's see where is it my cherry cobbler and this cherry cobbler then is cut at five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's going to completely go on top of this. Let me move everything out of the way. On top of this card base. Okay, so it's going to, there's not going to be like a little white border. So let's go ahead and do that together. down. Let's get it over top of here. And I love using Tombow, guys, because I've got that wiggle room just to get it perfect. Just to get it perfect. Right there. Love it. Press that down nicely. Okay, that's our background. We're going to move this out of the way now with our envelope because we've already done the stamping on our envelope. And we're going to bring in this piece. This is regular Whisper White cardstock. And this is cut at five and a quarter by four. If you guys go over to my coordinating website at stampinginthevalley.com on my blog, I'm going to list all of the items and the numbers there on my blog <coughs> for you guys to have for this card. Um, okay, so this is, again, this is five and a quarter by four, and it's the regular Whisper White. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, I've already run through the big shot with, uh, with our sleigh right here. Look at our gold sleigh. Isn't that adorable with our gold foil paper? 
Okay, so I've run this through the Big Shot with this, um, this framelit right here. Love that. And then I've run the intricate part of the sleigh, the decorative part of the sleigh. I love that. Through the Big Shot with the Cherry Cobbler. Just to save time, I've already done this for us. And then we're going to put it together. So here, on our gold sleigh, let me move this down and out of the way. But on our gold sleigh, we're going to adhere this to right here. Okay, that's how we want that. Isn't that beautiful? The gold with the red, I love that. I love cherry cobbler um, at Christmas time. I think that is just the nicest uh, color of red for Christmas. So I kind of, you know, just watch how I dot this all over the place. Very, very small little dots. You don't need much. And a lot of it is where it kind of just hangs over a little bit. So that it I just has to adhere down just a little bit. Because then you're going to put the presents on top of this. So it's going to help hold it down too. I loved making the little presents. They were so much fun. I've got to tell you guys, I just colored them with my Regal markers and my... Um, um, what were those other ones? The in color, the new in color markers. And I just used random color coloring my presents. We'll go over that in just a second. Look how nice that goes down. Isn't that perfect? I love that. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little cough. Um, okay, so I'm going to set that aside and that to dry. Now let's go over how I made the reindeer. Okay. I love the little reindeer. You could do a whole team of reindeer. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? He is so cute. So with this little element right here, I used our gold metallic thread. This is the new gold metallic thread in the, um, in the new holiday catalog. Look at that. It is just beautiful. Very, very fine. Very fine right there, if you guys can see that. Now, to get this even, I'm, I'm just going to quickly go over it with you. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video than normal because I want to go over, you know, just a few techniques with you guys. How did I get that bow to be so even? The 10 second bow maker. So you just take your, your twine right here, okay? Un I unravel some. And I just take it like this. And I wrap it around. And I bring like one over the top so that I get started with keeping it together, Okay. Then I just wrap it around as many times as I want, okay, and, you know, just bring it across, cut it, and then tie it, okay, and you will have a perfect, a perfect little bow. This is the 10 second bow maker. So, and you can look that up online or I can even put a link um, to it on my website, okay, um, where you can purchase that. I use it. I use this item all the time to make bows. See, because you can move this in or out if you wanted more of it, you know, to be um, wider. Or sometimes I make my little bows like this on my cards. But for that element right there, I had it like that. And I just looped it around, tied a knot. Okay. And then I added the cutest little embellishments of these little teeny tiny bells. This is a new item in the holiday catalog. Mini Jingle Bells from Stampin' Up, right there, and you get like a bunch of them in here. So let me open that up without spilling them. Look at all you get. They are just fun. You're going to see me use a lot of these on the Christmas cards. And um, so here is what I did. I stamped the reindeer in chocolate chip on some crumb cake. Okay, and then I added this embellishment with two glue dots. One glue dot to hold down the little bow, and then another glue dot to hold down the bell. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Okay, now, um, the next thing that I did was I made presents. In the stamp set, right here, you have these presents right here, okay? And I fussy cut them. They're just squares and rectangles, but so there's no, not a framelit to them. So I just cut those out. And I also, and, but the bows I stamped, and there's a framelit to the bows. And so here are some of the presents, and I colored them. Isn't this adorable? 
I colored them with my markers, some Regal markers and some of the new in color markers. So these are just my presents and they're all on dimensionals. And we're going to put that in the sleigh when we get it on the card, okay? So, and then to the bows, I also added Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see them shimmer just a little bit. Maybe you could see them when we get them on the card. Okay, so that's what I did there. And again, we're focusing on how to make the snow today. So this is a piece of Whisper White, the regular Whisper White cardstock, not the thick. And this is cut at two by five and a quarter. Okay, you want the five and a quarter because you want it to come across your card. Okay, the complete um, width of this card uh, where you're going to you know put your embellishments okay so that's five and a quarter and then I just did a two inch strip this is really a piece of scrap paper now what you're going to do with this paper and uh, this is how you're going to make your hills you're going to tear it toward you and you're going to come up and down and just kind of tearing it we're not going to use this piece because I've written on it and you tear it like this okay now what you're going to do then is flip the other side over. Do you see the feathered part right here where you've torn? That's what you want to come towards you. And you, these are literally going to layer on top of each other, just like that. Okay? And that's how you're going to make your snow. So let me move this to the side. I've already done one for us. I started uh, and I did this one. I stamped down here, Merry Christmas, again, out of that stamp set. And that, th this is all that I'm using is this stamp set right here. Merry Christmas wishes. I love that. I love the sayings. Oh. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so and then here's the other piece. And this is the piece that we're going to do together. See where it's feathered right here? Now we're going to take that and we're going to stamp that or actually sweep it in our verse mark. Bring your verse mark pad in. Turn this over where the feathered part right here is toward the verse mark. And just on a... a um, about a third of the way. I just push it in my Versamark ink and then I just flick those little edges. So I push it down into the ink and then I flip the edges a little bit. Push it. It doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be anything. Just get the Versamark on there because I want to talk to you guys this year about using your heat and stick. Now, can you see that's a little shiny right there with the Versamark? Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I think I'm going to add a little bit more right here. Get a little bit more snow on there then. So, and then again, I just flip the edges in it. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we're going to move the Versamark. We're done with that. We're going to move that out of the way. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in, this is heat and stick powder right here. Now, <clears throat> you could easily, you know, just do an embossing. You could easily just emboss the Dazzling Diamonds on here. But I like to use the heat and stick powder because then it doesn't come off. Watch. See? So basically, most of it, it all stays all where you put it because of the heat and stick powder. Okay? So here we've got the Versamark on here. I, I get these little spoons at a place called the crock, um, let's see, the crock pot or something like that, um, where they do little desserts. They're mini spoons. I love them in these little containers. So I just, and I got these little containers at the Dollar Tree, and I didn't get enough of them, and I went back to go get some more, and they were all sold out, and I was like, oh, they're perfect for crafting. I love the lids on them, the way that they lock down, so I'm just going to tap this off. So I've had to go to these little containers right here. This is all my Santa sleigh parts. You know I'm great about, I make the parts and I save them and then when I get into a project, <laughs> then I, <laughs> I go to the little bin and I pick out what I want. Okay, so here we've got the heat and stick powder on this piece, okay? I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna step right back here because I've got my heat, uh, my heat tool and you're gonna hear it turn on. I'm gonna let it get hot. You want to feel it and let it kind of get warm. And I'm actually, I'm going to pick this up with my tweezers, okay? I'm going to come back here and let this melt on here. And I'll show you, it'll get glossy, almost like it looks sticky. 
And this again is the heat and stick powder. I'll have all the numbers up there for you. I like to use this because then my glitter and everything does not fall off of my cards. They go through a lot in the through the holiday season because I do a lot of craft shows. Okay, can you see the way that that looks sticky, shiny sticky kind of thing right there? I know you can see that. Good. Okay, then we bring in the Dazzling Diamonds. Let me close this up, the heat and stick powder. I love these little containers. I only needed like, they came like three of these containers for a dollar. I loved them. So this is the Dazzling Diamonds, and I'm going to do the same thing with it. Tapping off the excess, right there. Okay, and now with this, I'm going to go back here and use my heat tool again and set this. Now what this is going to do is literally melt the um, Dazzling Diamonds into the heat and stick powder uh, there and it, it sticks. Everything sticks together. It's like a glue and it just kind of um, lets the Dazzling Diamonds almost melt into the heat and stick powder uh, that's already adhered to this and then it makes it more of a permanent glitter on your card. So things do not flake off. I know it's an extra step, but I think it's worth it. Okay. And there it is. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So let me close this up. And I'll move these two things out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> So let's bring in our card base again, and this again is five and a quarter by four of just regular Whisper White. We're going to get both of our little elements here, and we're going to layer them on top of each other. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that awesome? And then you're going to just stick them right here. You're going to make your embellishment like this. You're going to take some Tombow glue, and I just run it along this edge right here. Okay, run your Tombow, and then just bring it here, and layer it, oh, I'm right off of the camera, like you guys can even see what I'm doing. Let me get up there, okay. So what I've done is I've just layered it on top of each other with that little bit of Tombow, get the edges, and just stick it together. Isn't that adorable? Look at that embellishment you just made snowdrifts. Okay, then I take this element and get it onto my card base. Okay, and you can use Tombow, you can use um, Snail, whatever, however that you want it on there. This is, I'm not got this lined up perfectly and I want it lined up. Sometimes you gotta give the side a little haircut, but I thought I had them. Just, there we go, just about perfect. Now see I ran my hand all the way over that and I barely have any glitter on it. That's that lovely heat and stick powder. So I'm just going to use my, I'm going to use just my Tombow. And like I said, you could use any adhesive you want. Fast Fuse, anything. Okay. And I'm going to add this right here to the bottom of my card. Okay, getting it lined up. Oh, perfect. Just press it down. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and then if you have anything, let's see, this is not lined up properly. See, I, you know, guys, I have such a hard time lining stuff up. Well, we're just going to give it a, we're going to give it a little haircut there at the bottom because I don't want to ruin my card, and it does look great up there. So we're just going to trim this quickly. Okay, beautiful. And let's see, our sides are good. Maybe here, just a little bit of a haircut right here. Good. Let me get these 
pieces out of the way. Okay, there's, there's the start of our card base. I love it. Now, we're going to take our sleigh, and it's going to go right here, and we're going to take our reindeer, and he's going to go right there. Isn't that adorable? Two embellishments that came together so nicely. I want to adhere the reindeer first because I want him kind of like that he's taking off, okay? So just a little, a little angle on him. And again, a little Tombow here at the antlers. These are so cute. Thanks for watching my video today. I know this is a longer video because I wanted to go over some different technique with you guys. And I'm very excited about the holiday catalog. I love all the new things in it. Watch for a lot of videos from me. I love that. Isn't that a look at him? Isn't he cute? Oh, okay. Then right here, the same thing on the back of your sleigh. Get some Tombow going. Okay, and right here at the bottom. Just do some little dots. It doesn't take much to adhere this down. You could use our clear glue. I like the Tombow. Okay, good enough. Now, I'm going to put my sleigh right here. Hold that down just a second. I've got some glue on my fingers too. <laughs> okay. There we go. Isn't that adorable? Now we get to put the presents on. <laughs> so what I've done is I've just made these little presents and I cut them out. I fussy cut them. And I did the little bow with the um, stamp set and the framelits. And I, then I put some Wink of Stella. Okay? And I, I put a dimensional on the back. And now we just got to fill up our sleigh. So I just want presents all over the place. And just randomly put them. It doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. Put them wherever you want. And I kind of like to um, alternate the red bows and the white ones a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. And I definitely want my teddy bear on the back, or at, like on the back out here toward the front. I want him to show. And just, you know, you can make as many presents as you want, or you can make as little presents as you want. I like the sled full. <laughs> I want to get a lot of presents. Let's see. Let's put this one. Well, I've got two of those. Okay, we'll put that one here. Put that behind there. There, that off of there, and now the teddy bear. I want him right here. This is so cute. What an adorable, adorable stamp set. Isn't that adorable? He's going on for a ride, too. That's how easy to make the front of that card, guys. Now, let's bring in our card base that we made just a few minutes ago, and then this is going to go right on top of it. But I love to use this tape. I'm all about this tape. So this I'm going to put about right here. I'll just get some old scissors when I do stuff like this. <clears throat> and I take this and I cut it into thirds. And then I'm just going to put it down here on our card. Awesome. Gives, this gives it good stability, the card. 
I do believe. And then it takes me a lot less to peel a bunch of stuff instead of, you know, having 12 dimensionals back here. We also have our, our tape. I use that other um, adhesive strip tape for my shaker cards, actually. So I'm still using this for my backing of my cards. Okay, let's bring this in and bring our top in. Isn't this adorable, guys? Thank you so much for visiting me today and watching my video in my craft room. Did I get that on straight? No, I didn't. And watching me put things on crooked, as usual. <laughs> you guys have got to be used to that by now, right? Let's see. Are we going to mess the card up? Let's hope not. Let's take it apart. Okay. Okay, we're going to get another shot at it. Yay! Okay. Here we go. And I'm so sorry. This might have tore it just a little bit down there, but that's okay. There we go. like that better. Okay, perfect. There's our card. I love the sleigh. I love the reindeer. Hey, if any of you guys need a holiday catalog, this holiday catalog right here, just email me at joannmaddie at outlook.com. I'll be more than happy to put one in the mail for you, and I'll send you a card. I'll send you some special gifts, too. Might not be this card. Might be another kind of card. Um, but, yeah, drop by, and if you need a catalog just holler at me I'll be more than happy to send it to you these are my cards for today aren't they adorable I love this one I didn't use the wink of Stella on the bows and this one I did so I like the bows with the wink of Stella I like both the cards I hope you liked my little technique of how to make snow and using your heat and stick embossing powder to go along with any embossing powder that you're going to put on a card this year Okay, so um, if you have any questions, email me, please. If I can help you ordering any of your Stampin' Up! supplies, just get in contact with me. And thanks again for watching my video. Have a great crafting afternoon.